This patient is a 58-year-old uh, male with history of ankle pain and swelling after uh, trauma a month ago. The patient has history of uh, ankle reconstruction more than 20 years ago. The MRI examination of the ankle uh, shows changes of uh, Watson-Jones procedure for reconstruction of the anterior telofibular ligament uh, for, with um, rerouting and reattachment of the uh, pronius uh, brevis tendon. The uh, mobilized uh, pronius brevis tendon uh, is um, coursing uh, through a, a fibular tunnel approximately 2.5 centimeter above the tip of the lateral malleolus as seen on these images with the red arrows. The tendon uh, then courses inferiorly through a, a tunnel in the anterolateral talus, reconstructing the anterior talofibular ligament, as seen on this image uh, with the yellow arrow. The tendon then coursing, is coursing posteriorly through a tunnel in the uh, uh, inferior tunnel in the lateral malleolus approximately one point uh, one, approximately one centimeter uh, above the tip of the lateral malleolus as seen on this um, image with the red arrow. The rerouted um, segment of the uh, pronius brevis tendon is uh, reattached to the distal uh, pronius brevis. On these images, there is the partial split tear of the pronius brevis um, tendon seen posterior to the lateral malleolus. The reconstruction is, however, intact. There is a mild tendinosis of the uh, pronius uh, longus tendon as well. Also noted is um, mild tenosynovitis of the tibialis posterior tendon as seen on this image with the white arrow. So these findings are uh, consistent with the lateral ankle, lateral uh, ligament um, reconstruction with partial split tear of the pronius brevis tendon. The reconstructed uh, ligament uh, is, however, intact. Lateral ligament injuries are usually treated conservatively with the RICE protocol of rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Surgery is performed for grade 3 injuries and chronic instability. The lateral ligaments may be primarily repaired or reconstructed using all or a portion of the peroneus brevis tendon, free grafts of fascia lata or plantaris or allografts. The Watson-Jones procedure demonstrated in this case with rerouting of the peroneus brevis through fibular and tailor tunnels sacrifices the entire peroneus brevis tendon and does not reconstruct the calcaneofibular ligament.